galactic civil war spreads across the sun. From the height of Coruscant to fiery Mustafa. To fight the evil empire for people join the fray. These are the heroes of the Hydean Way. Welcome to Heroes of the Hydean Way. This is a Star Wars actual play podcast and we're playing in Edge Studios' Age of Rebellion system. This is Arc 2, Episode 4 of The Hard Road. I'm Ben, the GM for this adventure, and I use they-them pronouns. I'm Joy, I use she-her, and I play Kedra Javik, the shark shooter. I'm Erica Goodwitch, I use she-her, and I'm playing Norin Gremian, they-them engineer scientist. I'm Zach, I use they the pronouns. I play Shin Shazen, who uses he him pronouns, and he's an infiltrator interrogator. And I'm Enri, I use she they pronouns, and I'll be playing Isasel An, who uses she her pronouns, and I'm the ship's pilot and captain. <laughs> to learn more about our characters, we get one to ask more a question. And today it is Isasel's turn. So at some point, we were all resting and getting ready to keep moving on. Isacel's looking at, you know, a map of the galaxy, like, as she does to keep fresh on all the galactic routes for astrogation purposes, and stops and looks at the crew and goes, you know, if you could adventure on one planet, where would it be? Just so I could keep track of it, you know, put it in my notes. Alderaan. Oh, why would you want to go there? Well, so it's such a very vibrantly rich like culture and art in um, art and beauty and everything in their uh, various you know regions and natural landmarks are well documented and like I've I've seen you know docu hollows ever since I was a kid of planets like Alderaan and Naboo and. I don't know, there's just something about the snow-capped peaks and the cloud-shaped falls and the um, the synth stone of the cities that I think it would just be a pretty great place to visit and um, walk around on for the first time. That sounds brilliant. Very good. Me? I like to go to Hoth. I know, I know. People say, why do you want to go to Hoth? My dream is to go hunting and kill a wampa. Oh, to kill a wampa would be the proudest moment of my life. Oh, but I have to get gear to go with the cold because I'm not used to cold. But oh, to be able to hunt a wampa and be successful and not die. Oh, that is like, that is like being the hunter of all hunters. I think I would like that very much. Shin was going to take a drink of calf, and as you were saying all of that, it slowly stopped midway to his mouth, and his eyes narrowed. There's a huge grin on my face. And then he put his coffee cup down, or his calf cup down. Yeah, that's not what I... I, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. Um, you don't want to go hunting for Wampa? <laughs> oh! It did very much fun! <laughs> Yeah, uh, it sounds like a blast. Um, intelligence against intelligence? Oh, we see who is smart. It'd be very fun. Wait, they're smart? That seems a little more cruel now. I don't even... Well, I, don't I mean, they're right. smart for animal. Yeah, well, it doesn't shine a light to anything to secede. There's this, uh, this is a, a, a fun planet way out in the outer rim, just like out past uh, uh, the Corvus sector. It's just a... Uh, Nice little, nice little uh, beach, resorts. Um, maybe there's some special foliage that I could use for certain extracts. Uh, but you know, it just seems like a neat place to uh, chill by the pool and gather plants. 
or go get girl. <laughs> yes. Oh no, I'm a much. I'm a, I'm, I'm a little too old for that. I. I you don't want be... a good, beautiful woman to sit by you with you and talk to you. Nakidra, mm. that's me. Oh, <laughs> that's you. Okay. No, I don't need. I don't need anything like that. No, uh, there's only ever one, and it's it's uh that that tale seems to have been written. Shen, at some point, you're telling me that tale. But uh, we can save that for later, because me, personally, one day I want to go back to Corellia and go on a real in- on a real vacation, not just go to race, take the Senator daughter, get chased off the planets. You know, I'd like to see if she's still around, take her on a date, or that vacation with you lot. It was Corellia. Oh, sounds pretty good. It was, it was quite an amazing planet. Just, the ships there were amazing, and it just it was perfect for me. And then I got chased off, and... Well, I can go back with the fake name. Shed, you're good at that, right? Uh, I may know some people. Perfect. When when this is said and done, when we have some vacation time saved up, I got a list of the planets we'll be visiting. Hmm. Cool, you come up with some neat names, and I'll uh, see what I can do. That would be very fun. You're one of those disaster lesbians, aren't you? She puts up her fingers like, I cannot confirm or deny that. <laughs> Where would we be without a little disaster? Crawling through a vent that smelled clean, because I was so curious as to what was in that vent. Vents <laughs> oh. are very nice. I like vents. They like give me fresh air. No, and why are you so scared of them? You remember that skull bore I mentioned? Oh. <laughs> you scared actually, of skulls? Now I'm afraid of fence. <laughs> Great. Our destiny pool for this episode starts off with three light side and three dark side. We have balance to the force. For at least the first minute or so. <laughs> Camera starts off Framing our binary load lifter L185 as the big brute is clomping along the outside of the ship towards the engineering base with arms full of equipment as they're approaching the rear airlock. The camera then passes by this giant of a droid and slips in through a open shuttle bay, passing through a closed door and passing between Isazel and Norrin as the two of them are walking towards engineering, followed by the four pit droids, each of the pit droids walking with large tools, from a wrench to a hydro spanner to a driver, and they're in almost parade formation in behind our heroes. The camera passes very quickly through the gangplank, passing by the Rodian third mate jigs, over the gangplank, and very quickly into a darkened uh, laboratory, where strapped to a chair is a Imperial lieutenant with their two red, two blue pips, on their rank insignia, the single code cylinder, arms, legs, chest, everything's bound to the chair as Chen is approaching with gloved hands. And Kitra is sitting off in a dimmed corner with her rifle nearby on stun. All right. Well, now that that's over with, um, <clears throat> We gotta get you looked at. Uh, sorry about the door thing there. Uh, this a uh, little. I was not only kind of hazing you, but uh, our new uh, our new engineer. No, I was hazing her because <laughs> hazing them because they uh, they're a little little jumpy sometimes. Uh, it's a vaccine. This is just a vaccine. It's we we uh, our crew came in contact with the flu on some moon not too long ago, and I just want to make sure that we're not passing anything to an imperial officer. And I had to be a little gruff because I'm, I had to sell it, you know. <laughs> you you understand? 
<laughs> That's a very funny joke, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, can I roll a deception for that? Uh, okay, yes. I, yes, I want, I want, I want him to be uh, on my side in a little bit. Because it, well, it goes up against his discipline. It would be two red and a purple. Oh, okay. Um, is this group check? Could be. I have three yeah. green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have three I have How many skill points do you have in deception? I just have three green. Just three. Okay, three agility. So a boost. Um, for, wait, for deception? Mm-hmm. That's not agility, that's cunning. Cunning. Three and cunning. Okay, I was like, wait a minute. Okay. I mean, My bad. It's cuter. It's kind of a potato potato thing. <laughs> uh, I'll also use a light side point so I can upgrade this. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we have learned that. Um, and we'll roll. Oh, come on, please, D one. Yes, thank oh, you, D one. Nice. Two success and four advantage. I'll do that roll. Flip it. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, you understand? I uh, also. I mean. I don't know what's going on in that ship or what they've done to you, but we need to get you checked out real quick. Um, have they been feeding you properly? Oh, yes. Well, they they have been feeding me on a regular basis. If anything, it has been actual food as opposed to the normal uh, imperial goo. Uh, but those so- biscuits, though, those biscuits are good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, um... Let me do uh, a check real quick. Nothing physical. You weren't like you didn't get any. any you weren't beat up or anything. No, um, there was a. Understandably, there was a bit of hard feelings when everything started, and oh. but uh, they weren't too rough. The third mate was there very quickly. In fact, at the time, the captain was there. It. The captain was able to keep control, and I was shuffled off into that office. They very quickly took away the computers and everything. So it it has been terribly boring. I've been replaying every Zabak game that I've played. Apparently I've made some very bad choices. Yeah, yeah. I understand that. We've got, I mean, I was going to say Sabak, but you probably don't want to play Sabak anymore. We've, probably, we've got, uh, I think we have a pull-out to Jarek set somewhere, but um, would you care for this vaccine now, or uh, can I use my advantage to, to have him believe that this is a vaccine that I'm going to inject him with? Sure. Yeah. Cool. You have a lot of advantage. He is a very good doctor. He, he good. I'll just, it's just going to be that question or nine. The uh, the interrogation serum that we cu- cooked up. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, while the five minutes sets in, I will do an actual physical examination and just like small talk to yeah. kind of like ease him a little bit. And then uh, I'll check my chrono, make sure as I'm pretending to take his pulse, I'm checking my chrono to make sure five minutes has passed. <laughs> and then I'll hit him with the uh, as I'm holding his wrist. So um, why they why they leave you here? Do they know they left you here, or did, did you just get like, mm. did you just get left behind? Well, it was a bit of a rush, and I was making sure that the cabling was kept off properly. Uh, you know, making sure that my crew was actually doing their jobs. The Wastrels are always short-circuiting their own work, and this is a civilian ship, so didn't want us to be any more of a problem than we needed to be. What? The gauntlet was able to take possession of the hyperdrive as was originally intended by the captain. Why do you take the the civilian hyperdrive? You don't want them to leave? You you think they need to be stranded? Hmm. 
it is better for a civilian to be stranded than a warship. Uh, oh, but you were you sending help after you left, or was that not part of the protocol? I was not part of those plans. If there was to be any uh, help preferred afterwards, I do not know of that. They do not tell us in engineering, only to get the hyperdrive out and over to our ship. Does this seem like he's telling me the truth so far? Because, I mean, we could do the roll, it's just upgrades the difficulty of him um, of him trying to, like, lie to me or whatever. I mean, I'm gonna go on... But I'm also holding his wrist, so if you just tell, if you're, if, you were, if you're like, oh, he's, he, this is all truthful or whatever. This part, I'm gonna go with all truthful. Okay. Like, he is a second lieutenant. Like, that is still a lieutenant in the engineering, but mm -hmm. it's still in the grand scheme of commission officers relatively low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh. now, are you, uh, forgive me, but are you the type of personnel, like, rank-wise, that they would turn back for if they realize you're missing? Or do you need a ride somewhere? How are we, how are we uh, correcting the situation? All right, now is when I'm wanting to get a role <laughs> okay. for this guy. So, yeah, this guy would be attempting to deceive. He is horrible at it. And he gets an upgrade difficulty of that upgraded once. Okay, and can I get a... What is your discipline? It would be oh, a... It's one yellow, one green. Okay. So then it would be what, two reds with the upgrade or whatever? Or you want me to roll against him? How about you roll? Okay. It feels better to have the player roll. So the difficulty for your roll would be one red and two purple. Because I'm using a destiny point, it is that. Okay. Um, well, no, I'm going to use one back because I only have two I mean, yellows. Fair. And I'm going to make it yellow, yellow, green. Just, just to round out the... <laughs> Three success, two threats. Which, from the direction he has a sent, uh, well, all right. So you're able to get him talking, which is more of the thing. He's able to trust you a bit. With this, you're able to get him going. You're just sort of naturally personable, but then also this is really helping. Well, uh, this the gauntlet had had taken a bit of damage while putting down a prison bone on a nearby site. But no one is supposed to know about it. It's a place where subversives, I'm told, are going. They don't really tell us much in engineering. It's mostly get this working, get that working. Make sure the engines are working. And, well, working in the back hall, Nebulon B is, well, kind of keeps you away from everything. The, the, the gauntlet is a nebula? Yes. Okay. Which puts in roughly the same size class as the uh, Soaring Bantha, the Star Seeder colony ship that you are docked to. That's, that's a ship that you generally uh, 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 associate with the Rebellion, right? The Nebula B frigates? They're an Imperial Patrol craft. Gotcha, okay. Or at least that's how I'm using them, as uh, Imperial Patrol craft. Uh, uh, you, Shen's ears perk up when he says uh, prison for subversives. Uh, subversives? Oh, like spies and stuff? Um, well... Or is it more like a political thing? I don't know. I've never been there. And no. when doing a search afterwards, while we were waiting for something to happen, it didn't come up on any Imperial records. But the facility is there. It's in one of the moons here. And it, it's an Imperial facility, or it's just a facility that you found and assumed to be Imperial? Oh no, the stormtroopers that we pulled off of there were absolutely Imperial. If anything, I believe that the officer I saw was 
dressed in white. Hmm. Gives you a few moments to decide if you know what hmm. that is. Oh, the white uniform? Yeah. That would be like a director, right? Oh, wait. White or uniform. ISB. Oh, uh, that's... Uh, you mean the I ISB? Yes. They have the cape? One of them. Big flowy cape or just the uniform? Nah. They had a captain's rank. I don't know if that burns a cape or not. Oh, that just does always so neat to see these swoosh around. <clears throat> Not so much sure how much uh, more I can get out of him, or what I need to get out of him. Honestly, uh, I have some very important details I can pass to the captain. But other than that, I don't know how much deeper to dig about what. And I don't if if we're going to turn this person back over, I want to stay on their good side. Okay, that's fair. Um, so Shun will be like, uh, all right. Um, let rest up a bit. Uh, we'll loosen. I'll loosen some of the straps just a little bit, but I, I have for the security for everyone on board all the ships because we have some of the civilians in here. They they will want you strapped down. We'll make sure the door is secure so no one can get in here. Um, and if you want anything specific, we've got a pretty stocked galley. We'll get you some calf. Uh, we can let you uh, we, you know while we're in here, we'll secure the door and unstrap you and let you eat and all that jazz. But if no one's in here, we just, I mean, just for now, it's probably not going to be maybe more than an hour or two until the captain can figure this out at most. Uh, but I, I don't have the authority to uh, release you. I apologize. Oh, that's okay. You've been so nice. I mean, yeah, I'll just sit here and think about the battles that I remember of being told about the Clone Wars. It's just so, uh, and just, <laughs> just on his bonds out. and pass out head forward. Shin just Snoring. pats him on the uh, chest. All right, good talk, buddy. <laughs> uh, you thought pretty good, Shin. Good questions. Yeah, I don't really know what any of it means, but that sounds yeah. kind of intense. Prison, pulling people out of a prison riot. Yeah, like, seems like very, very dangerous job. Maybe lots of shooting. Well, I mean, yeah, it sounds like it. If they put Imperials down in a prison, I assume there's some sort of weaponry being used. Yeah. Do you need well, me to stay here so he don't get out? I mean, if you want to. Otherwise, I we don't. can go let the captain know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to either. We'll just okay. lock the door. And then we'll... Make sure he's strapped so that he can't get out. Oh, I'm not, not really going to loosen the straps. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay. definitely, I was just teasing. I'm not, he'll, he oh. won't even remember. Oh. Trust me, when this okay. stuff wears off, he's going to feel like he's hungover. Oh, good. We can bring him hangover medicine. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, we do that later. Let's go and surprise the captain with this boring and strange information. Yeah, he's not really a lieutenant either. He's a second lieutenant. He's just a kid. Look at him. I don't, I don't, yeah. I feel kind of bad. I mean, he's an imperial and all, but I kind of feel bad. Like, I don't, I'm not gonna... He would be like a youngster trying to learn to be the first shooter. Mm. Ah, well, I don't, let's not talk to, he should be out, but I don't want to take any chances. So let's, uh, <laughs> well, I'll go chat with the captain. Yes, yes. Well, I'll go tend to the wounded. If you want to, you can either tell the captain to see me, or you can let her know what happened. It doesn't matter. I gotta oh. make sure the people in the back are okay. There's a lot of wounded. There were like stretchers full yes. of people. Yes. There was a lot of people who wanted to take naps. Yes. Yeah, it's easier to uh, do the assessment when they're asleep anyway, so it's okay. All right. So I'm gonna head off towards the captain. Wherever oh, they are. Right. To, the, to the cargo pod. <laughs> Arguing with Norin. That's where she is. <laughs> yes. Arguing with Norin on the way to, like, fix the engines. That small column has now made it to the engine room. Things are... There's a distinct smell to overheated metal especially then some slightly melted wiring, that as soon as you step in there, there is this just nasal penetrating smell. You can taste it. It's like a tangy. Yeah. You know what? This is what she planned for. Isisel puts on her helmet and <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like Norin, you should probably put on your helmet. Unless you want to smell these fumes all day. I mean, they're kind of helpful to know what the problem is and what's going on. 
<laughs> yeah, they used the way wrong fuel. <laughs> so, as you're looking around, yeah, you can see that uh, a lot of the engines do have a lot of carbon scoring around the burn chambers, and there's a sound to engines. Like, there's always just sort of the hum of them working. This one sounds like it is just at the top end of what you can hear. It is going and just turning as fast as it can. Probably faster than it ever was intended to. As it's trying to give as much power as it can. And the ship itself is wanting more than what it can give. Isisel just cracks her fingers, like, okay. So, because there was the engine that's working, a burnt-down engine, and then the five that just went out as soon as they dropped out of hyperdrive. Yeah. So, Isisel looks at the burnt-out ones, like, okay. First up, we get as many parts for, like spare parts that we can recover off the broken engine, combine it with everything we brought from our ship, and we use that to flush and fix the other five engines. Sounds like a plan. Okay, ready team? And she puts her hand out to do like a go team. Nope. Not in? No, I'm <laughs> not really here for that right now. I'm guessing all the droids are already there. <laughs> Norin's too busy giving instructions to the droids. <laughs> they're listening. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're all looking up at Norin just nodding, nodding, nodding. And then uh, they'll... One on the end will like slap a more middle one on the shoulder, and they'll start running off to help fix things. <laughs> those are those little droids. I love those little droids. I love them too. It's like not it. You should learn. We need to learn how to work as a team. You know, it's like there's pride in this team. <laughs> we working. We are working as a team. It's a team of criminals. Apparently, <laughs> we get. We are not criminals. <laughs> not it. You assume too much. Just trust in our friends. They will know what they're doing. Just- <laughs> Norin's thinking about the time that she watched Kedra shoot someone in the back. <laughs> <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> it was not for no reason. <laughs> I'm trying to think on how to handle this. This feels like a skill challenge kind of thing, where a certain amount of successes, in this case, let's call it 10, are needed to get all the engines up and going. If you get triumphs, we can count those as bonus successes. In fact, I go with one triumph is equal to two, unless you're wanting to do something special to get them to to improve following checks. What, the droids? The droids would be helping to give boosts. All of your roles with this would be getting a boost from the droids helping out. Oh. Triumph for having everything to start doing the work would give an upgrade to all checks. So four yellow die. <laughs> And then, since, since the droids aren't the ones rolling, but I have two ranks of speaks binary, can I have those boost die? Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> and so then two boost die. And then one more with Isasel backing up, and because we have such like all this equipment, the toolkits, the repair patches, can we make that fourth boost? I mean, yes. The way that this is splitting out, I was wanting to offer up doing essentially like two droids working with Norn, two droids working with Isazel, and doing two separate rolls. Oh, that can work. Going to the combined total. If that's okay. Like, I'm not wanting okay. to. Okay. Oh, yeah, that okay. works. We'll see which okay. one of us gets some more successes. So, it's, it's four gonna be Norn. yellow, purple, two blue die, three blue die. Oh, right. I forgot to give a difficulty. Regardless, I'm burning one of those destiny points for Isacel's roll. 
<laughs> I mean, there is fuel involved. Okay, let's call it a one red, two purple check. I will be using destiny points on b at least the first set of rolls. So it okay, turns into so one red, two purple. And how many boosts each should we go? I'm doing three boost die because it's the two for my ranks of speaks binary and the one for the fact I'm getting a help action. Yeah. So then it would be one boost for Isazel then. Let's party. Yeah. Because, yeah, Isazel doesn't get the speaks binary boost. Okay. Yeah, hopefully. So, final roll. Four yellow, three blue, one red, two purples. Meanwhile, I got three yellow, one blue, one red, two purples. And because of my own superstition, one hit enter, wait for it, and then other person. Oh yeah, Erica, right. go Hitting first with no enter. Three successes, four advantages. <laughs> three successes, one threat. <laughs> nice. All right. So that's six successes total. Not. We'll deal with the successes first, then the advantage after. The threat, I'm just going to go with. This is a fair amount of work causing a strain. Oh, I can take it, that. Like, it's just. There's a huge amount of work. It's still. Even though that this has been like a week, week and a half since the engines went, it is still warm. Like,. You're pretty sure that some of the people that were brought over to the medical bay were from the explosion here. So six, that gets us over halfway. So the burnt out engine, the second one that survived the down jump, is back going. And the two of them, uh, there's a large panel that's up on above the door going to the rest of the ship uh, and it has essentially what the power situation going to the ship is in the engines you can see the two engines are lit up and going and you can see that there's enough power going to it saying that for auxiliary power 85% is being met with 15% being given over from the codfather so, auxiliary is still going. That's with that one. As that has been f finished working on, starting to refit, getting the seals all right from the engine explosions and that, it's mostly just, yeah, like seals going, a uh, bit of bearings, that sort of thing. And it's almost entirely physical work. There's very little machining to it. It's mostly knowing how to take things apart, putting them back together. You're able to get another two of the engines up and going. So now four of the engines are up and running. And the auxiliary power is fully on and it's starting to show that it could be going into batteries but also there's some available for normal ship operations now. Like, not all of the engines are going. It actually would be able to keep itself out of the gas giant now. That's good. There are still the four advantage on Norin's roll. Has not been dealt with. What do you want to do with them? I don't know. <laughs> I, have, I, I have an idea that might be slightly helpful. Go for it. All right, I don't know how many it would cost us, but how many advantage can we use to make the... Because we're working so closely together, We this is not the first time we've worked on engines in space in dangerous conditions. Is there any way to make the engines run a bit more efficiently? Especially, like, they probably didn't know how to, like, really, like, get through all this carbon scoring in it. Like, in the way that we've been specialized to do, you know, working in radioactive areas... Okay, yeah, I can kind of go with that, sure. Like, just, like, make it... So, the engines, once we get everything going, it's going to be just a little bit more efficient, so it, that missing en like that missing engine and that last engine that's been run to the ground, having those two isn't going to affect the ship too badly once we get them all going. Okay, I, I see where you're going now, and absolutely, that absolutely makes sense. 
vehicle while you're doing it. Sure. All right. How many advantages would that cost us? Uh, that feels like a three. So we, I could handle that. And that one last one, we could just, it could be a boost to Norn. Yeah, I'm figuring that a couple hours have taken place as the engines are getting fixed and all that's going on. The little pit droids are, they're absolutely helping. They're changing up ceiling uh, rings and all that sort of stuff. But also, due to their diminutive size, they're also like going, they're changing out ceiling rings inside the engine as like parts are coming out. So every now and then you see a pitroid head just pop out of a engine panel with a raised thumb. Well, I guess it one got the two fingers and a claw. So yeah, raised claw part. And then scrambling out, clanging on the ground on their back and then getting up. I know how to flavor the boost for Norn, which is Issa Cell being at, as it's going along actually being impressed with Norn and letting Norn lead this one and just <laughs> just like hyping up Norn like you know what we need to work together more often this is impressive I'm not going to lie this is actually very impressive Norn slowly just turning a darker shade of green <laughs> awesome and as we get ready for that next one just like okay Oh, should we check on and everyone else? <laughs> else we got we got really into working together on this engine. I have no the idea how long it's been. It's been a looks at her, you know, looks at Norn's data pack and is the level watch. We've been at this a few <laughs> hours. How do we get distracted so much? I wouldn't call it distracted. I would call it focused. But I've also just not been thinking about them. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we can continue not thinking about them, but you're commuting like, calm down. Let's continue working. Oh, Captain! Captain, where are you? <laughs> There's a small one to just stealth away from teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Can I stealth? Make a stealth check to, like, <laughs> like get the key to without Norn noticing. Oh, you're going to stealth against Norn as opposed... Okay. Yeah, a stealth deploy from Norn for a moment as, like, they're planning the next part to, like, go over to Kijo real quick. Okay. Um... I kind of figured that that would be against I Northern's either... Perception or vigilance, which I will leave up to Erica as to which one to use. Perception. It's a yellow. Alright. Which would turn into a red. Wait, is it? It's a contested roll, so do you want me to roll or do you want uh, Erica to roll? I think that's you rolling, the difficulty is one red. Thank you. Yeah. That makes it simpler. I'm just going to do a straight roll. I'm not going to even fight for boost. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I keep forgetting about the contested rolls where two people are rolling their skill. <laughs> no. <laughs> two failures and an advantage. <laughs> oh, Norin sees you so still trying to walk away. <laughs> Your advantage is Norin doesn't care or doesn't see Kedra. She's like, just like trips over like one of the droids and falls and they knocks over some stuff. Sorry, like sorry, sorry. Uh, give me a one moment. I just gotta check on something outside. Jumps out the airlock. <laughs> the, 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 the droid is highly aggravated and Nora is just trying to talk him down. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It just runs out the door to get Kedra's like, Kedra, hi. What do you need? Oh, Captain. Oh, quiet, so, quiet, quiet, um, quiet. Oh, sorry, me and Shin, we talked to the guy and in the white. Um, he, not very nice. He he had a lot to say. Um, but I forget now what he said. He said something about he slept. He had to get stuff because he was uh, stranded. Oh, they went to a prison. They had a prison outbreak, and so they he were trying to. Just puts make... her finger over Kija's mouth. <laughs> they, they were. Just... 
I'm sweating your hand. Stop it! I, no, no, I tell no. you the truth. I they, know you are. Were, I, Kidra, they, I know you help. are. Kidra, uh -huh. I know uh -huh. you are. I yes. need a favor. Oh, <laughs> I give you a hug. I hug you. Okay. okay. You feel better now? Yes, I do. But I have an important okay. job for you. <laughs> okay. But you need to find Shin. He know more. He oh, he tell you I'm everything. Going to find Shin. But but you need help. Okay. What help you need? <laughs> so first, when you get to the ship, tell Shin to write this on a data pad that we can lose. Oh but no no. But n no no. Just tell Shin next time you see them. <laughs> like, but firstly, I need you to start feeding all the sick people on the ship. They probably have not eaten a good oh. meal in over a week. And you know what they Shin. need? They need a Kidra meal. Do you want me to use the good meat or the bad meat? Use the best meat. Okay. I will take from your personal stash then. <laughs> she like winces a bit. <laughs> you may you may do that. <laughs> okay. And uh, tell no one that uh, we found information. <laughs> Stop. Is the Imperial officer still alive? Yes, no, I did not shoot him. He did not need to be shot. He is alive. He just sleeping because Shin gave him some medicine that was not probably good medicine to make him tell truth. <laughs> you know what? I know exactly. You. No, I don't know what that, what that is. I'm not going to ask too many questions. I will continue to not ask questions. Yeah, Kidra? he drugged him. <laughs> She's like, thanks, Kidra. Face palms a bit. <laughs> thanks, Kidra. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but it's okay. He's sleeping now. And he's happy because he's snoring happily now. You know what? That is great, Kidra. You should also prepare uh -huh. a meal for Imperial friend when they wake up. You? I was going to do hangover medicines for them because, you know, they probably have very bad headache. Do you have headache? <coughs> you seem like you are very agitated. I feel <laughs> bad you agitated. You seem high stressed. Are you okay? Do you need help? I can help you. No, no, no. You can help me by taking care. Of all those people, making sure they are fed. I'm just very much oh. stressing about all those people, these sick children, these sheep. Oh, I take care of all the sick people. I make sure the kids happy and laughing, and the other people, they get the medicine from Shin, because he has good medicine skills, and <laughs> I will make pushing sure... pushing her away. It's like, that's very good, that's very good. Now, get, get going. I, I, I want to keep talking as I walk away. I help the, the people, and I'm just going to help them with this. They're going to help me. If there's a door, Kijer walks through at one point, she just closes the door. <laughs> <laughs> and then walks back. Go find Shin. Okay. Shin need to do data pad. Oh, wait, what was it? No. Shin need to make people drugged. And we need to help them. <laughs> and I need to feed. Okay. I make notes on data pad. That's what I need to do. Okay. I need to make notes on data pad and send to, to Captain and have Shin drug people. Okay. I got it. <laughs> He's a sound. What? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Shane! <laughs> He's a sound like question. She just walks back to Nora and's like, okay, I got a call. Our Imperial friend does not seem too dangerous. They seem to be sleeping. I, I told Kidra to start feeding everyone. Now it's a good job for her. It's very much is. <laughs> let's let's fix these last couple of engines and honestly it seems like we got all the time in the world. Oh well, well, let's get to work. I mean we've been working for you know what I mean. I know what you mean, don't worry. Uh so did we make the same role but uh, without the red I'm guessing? <laughs> uh yes, actually. Yes. It's going to be the same role without the red. And I'll be you've progressed. Yep. Uh, and I'm not doing an extra yellow because I'm not burning another destiny point. <laughs> uh, uh, which one of us do you want to go first? <laughs> we may have a lot of destiny points, actually. Oh, we do. Burning the destiny point. Oh, God, I got you. Alright, uh, how about we go with Erica first? Let's see what Norn is able to command with their droid army. <laughs> so, four yellows, three blues, and two purples? Three purples? Three purples, yeah. It's the beginning of Norn's quest Ooh. to conquer the galaxy and the droid army. 
Two successes and two advantages. Well, four advantages. <laughs> uh. I mean, that's six advantages between the two of you. It is up to f- eight out of ten. That's what we we're saying. Oh, I know a good way of, like, why Isacel didn't get those successes. Okay. So, uh, because all four advantages are going to be used for whatever Norn was, because Isacel is now distracted and just keeps going over to whatever engine Norn's working on and just helping. <laughs> <laughs> the helmet's off, by the way. The helmet is off on the floor. <laughs> just thinking about what Kedra said as she left. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, it's warm in here. Like the the the, the space suit is now like tied around her waist. You know when like you have an overall suit and then you got like okay, I need to take this thing off. This is getting tied around the waist. It's too hot. Yeah. But yeah. So Norn, you have four success. My four successes to play with. <laughs> Your four advantages to play with. Four advantages. You know what I mean. Just had this really funny thought of how to make this hilariously awkward. I don't think I'm going to do it. No, do it. <laughs> do it. I mean, that's up to you. I'm probably here for it. isazel has been complimenting Norrin a lot and is acting really weird and awkward around them right now. <laughs> yeah, her confidence is gone, by the way. <laughs> She's thrown off. I'm trying to think. This is always hard for me in, in person stuff, which makes it great for Norrin. <laughs> um, Captain? Yes, Norrin? I'm not really into people romantically or anything like that. So if if I just wanted to let you know now, because I know I'm I'm kind of femme presenting, and you seem to be acting kind of strange right now, and I was just clearing the air, no hard feelings. <laughs> Objectively, you are pretty cute, but um, not I'm not at all. <laughs> He's just about to take the wrong part for that conversation. He still responds with, Oh, don't worry. Gender presentation never bothers me. And I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> and now he says, Hell is getting red. <laughs> and tr- drops a tool. He's like, You know, this is fixed the engine. You know, just drops a, re- a spanner. And she- <laughs> Shin comes on the con. Hey, Captain! I got everyone on the on the ship all patched up and and and. I don't think. I... <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Yeah, I, everyone's everyone's all dosed up and patched. I gotta talk to you about something. Has Keedra found you? <laughs> Shin! Oh, oh, I found Keedra. I gotta go. Shin. <laughs> <laughs> he's just uh, so, he's just broken at this point. Just like <laughs> Shin, I got to tell you something very important. Oh yeah, what's up? Okay, so I went and told this Azel because you know the long walk. Um, anyways, I got good exercise. Um, she is Azel. Uh, she wants you to drug all of the people, what? and then she wants you to fix them. Wait. And I need to feed Hold them, on. and we need to write um, a data pad. We need to write, like, why people should be drugged, okay? Wait, wait a minute. Shin's, like, bent over with his <laughs> one hand on his forehead and the other hand, like, up to, like, like the stops gesture. Like, wait. Uh-huh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I repeat back what she said. <laughs> no, no, she hey. said, she said, okay. Kidra, yes. we have sick people. And I said, yes. yes. She said, you need to feed them, so I'm going to feed them. Okay. And then she said... You need to write data pad and make sure all the, the people who are sick are drugged and they get healthy. See, that's the part right there okay. that, and like, she all said, the gears kind of... <sighs> and then she said that she needs to make sure all of them drugged and all of them get healthy. 
I hope I think I know what you mean. Did you know that there's? They said they had livestock on the ship. I'm sure if you asked oh. somebody, you could, you could, uh, I don't know, hunt something. I don't know how that works on a ship, but oh, no need to hunt if they have livestock. <laughs> you just take livestock and you kill it and butcher it and you eat it. But sh- but but uh, our captain said that we can use her personal good beef. Wait, she has per- she has secret meat. <laughs> oh yes, yes. I I split it up so that everybody has their own food and meat that I cook for you. And she's got she's captain, so she get best meat. And you didn't think to tell me. <clears throat> okay, I tell you now, but you have hey, second best. You know, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna go back and drug people or something. You have, I don't oh, know. good, good. So, so, so you like you like meat to eat? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you might want to. Oh wait, talk I forgot to whoever... something. The, the jigs or whoever. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. He said that we need to make sure that we stuff the the um imperial guy with lots of food. I I I am so okay. I'll I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'll take some notes real meal. quick and okay get started. I'll go cook. <laughs> I'll go cook. And you you have fun dragging people, okay? <laughs> I mean, generally I do, but I'm so confused. Okay. You can use stems. They help. They do. They really do. I think there's something like glitter or something that maybe we could use if we have some. You know some. what? Hey, hey. We don't glitter need to talk makes about everybody happy. anything like that hidden on the ship or anything. Okay, oh. so we'll oh. take care of hidden? whatever we have. What? Oh. No. I just, oh, hey. you have some? Um, I'm going to go yeah, take notes. I don't notes. think those would make very good hey. steaks at all. <laughs> I'm gonna. No. I'm going I mean, glitter to... is good for everybody. You just throw glitter at everybody. <laughs> this isn't the same kind of glitter. I promise oh. you. Nobody would want this in their food. It makes everything no. taste bitter. It's not for, oh. for eating. It's for never mind. Um, oh, not me... spices. <clears throat> okay. Well, it's a different kind of. You know. Uh, oh. Maybe we should. Maybe the captain and Nora and I should. Have, you know, we'll bring out like the. We'll we'll, we'll talk oh. about this later. Oh okay okay um Shin. Yeah. I'll be serious now. <laughs> You you're very very smart person, and I very much like you. Oh, thank so, you. So thank you for for letting me hold my gun and look intimidating. Oh yeah, I honestly uh, I feel much better when there's Imperials around when you have your gun. So you know. Oh, so I make sure I have my gun when we go visit Imperials, okay? Um, I'm gonna is... pat you on the back, okay? <laughs> yep, yep. It you, sounds you... Captain's cool. Okay, it. I go cook dinner now. We have big dinner. I'll go cook. <laughs> She's just so confused. That cannot be what she means. That cannot. I'm not gonna bother the captain though. She didn't want to. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go cook. <laughs> she heads off to go cook. <laughs> Shin doesn't even remember which direction he was going in the halls, but now he's going <laughs> the direction he came from and doesn't remember. He's just. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> you met Kidra. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, 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 I love. I want. I that was amazing. I was just doing my best to play along how I thought it would it would work, and I thought. I could no, it. it's fine. Yeah, I love right. Kidra so much. I love Kidra so much. <laughs> we do have. A huge amount of advantage on Norn slash uh, Isazel's rolls. <laughs> Six and to make almost, use of. Yes. <laughs> also, and... Isazel doing the whole like, I mean, I was just very much enjoying her companionship, but now that you say it, I get stuck. It's like saying, don't think about red. It's. <laughs> <laughs> we should just focus on the engine. Ah, uh, yes. The engine. <laughs> Norn has now flustered the captain. <laughs> this has been turned around. You guys look weird. Are you all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I actually do want to get a medicine check off of Shen. Roger, Dodger. I'll give you an extra die. Uh, extra yellow off of uh, ouch and medics and it will be going up against a one red two purple one setback kind of a check 
because I am using a destiny point, but I also want to toss a setback somewhere around. All right, and I don't know if the only thing I have medicine wise skills, I believe, just increases the amount of wounds people get healed. I mean, so, that's fair. I'm... If that makes any difference in the end, three success, one threat, and a triumph. I don't know why I said that weird. I mean, okay, so we've got medics, who is the 2 1B, the blue kind of droid that's in the Empire Sur Strikes Back. Surgery yeah, droid, surgical right? kind. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. If anything, they look a lot like they've got a lot of the same uh, design as the old microphones. Okay. And yeah, they're the surgical kind. They help with that sort of stuff. And that's medics? OUC4 is a uh, FX droid. And I'm figuring that the FX droids seem to be very um, related to the Imperial probe droid. Uh, instead of them oh. being floating on the repulsors, they've got a big central core that they stand on and they've still got that very uh, spidery okay. uh, head I remember what you're with all the glowy that. stuff. Like technically, there's one in Echo Base too, and yeah. there's one that's uh, around Vader during the whole comical mm. scene at the end of uh, no. Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Cool. It's, it's one of the ones that gets sad. <laughs> it's memeified. I can't help but laughing at it. The droids, though are getting crushed in that scene as he is That's yelling out. No, they look super, super spider-like. And they've got all these little flopping dedicated arms for whatever's going on. So mm -hmm. I'm just sort of figuring that that FX droid OUC4 or ouch is just being a little too close and causing that strain. It's like, oh, no, that that arm is getting a little too close as they're helping out. Okay, okay. You know, I the, the swing of needles was was funny at first, and now it's just a little. I, I still have two strain from a previous one. That's still there, right? We didn't. We haven't had any rest. Okay. Yes, because we haven't really cleared that. Gotcha. Cool. I am at three strain. Because yeah, they absolutely look. Mildly terrifying. And with the triumph, can it be a situation that, like, we've managed to, at very least, stabilize everyone? No one is anymore. Oh, absolutely, any... yes. Okay. Yeah. If there's no more, no, no more real life-threatening things, unless something out of the blue happens. But as of right now, yes, everyone who's been brought to the uh, Codfather for the pod is getting healed up just fine. They're on better oxygen and all that. Clean back to tanks. Well, actually able to go into a back to tank because the mm -hmm. back to tanks have power. Mm -hmm. That sort of thing. Then yes, I'm wanting to finish off in the mechanical room of the Soaring Bantha. You've got Norn and Isazel being wonderfully embarrassed uh, by each other. And a couple more of the engines have come online. There is two of them left. One is in the process of getting repaired. Like Two of the droids are replacing ceiling rings and bearings on the inside of it. And L185 is on the outside readjusting where the cone on it is, because that one seemed to have gotten knocked askew somehow. So, the big loader droid is on the back of the ship, just sort of standing there, moving the exhaust cone. I just find that funny. The thought of. Because they're probably huge. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna bear hug this thing and shift it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
just the loader droid outside, just like, this is such a great day and no awkwardness at all inside. <laughs> <laughs> Gonking along. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we may, we have to make sure we charge their gonks too. Oh yeah, yeah, all the gonks gotta get charged. I'm kind of thinking that the gonks on the <laughs> the gonks are the real MVPs on this ship. It's true. Yeah, I'm just sort of thinking on that big horde of power. There's a small section where you can see dozen gongs. Each one of them, most, all their power levels are indicated as below 50% and they're just slowly charging now. <laughs> slow, slow, like very slow, low tone gong. 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 So, how many boosts does six advantages give us to fix it to last engine? I mean... That's... Because I'll do this as a group check since we're focusing on the one. Yeah, I mean, fair. Uh, one setback die. Oh, definitely. I was <laughs> going to ask. One setback die. <laughs> yeah, that that is totally fair. I mean, it's six advantage. I'd actually go with that should be a full upgrade onto its own plus uh, two boost. So, yellow, 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 yellow. Blue, blue. S. Don't forget the droids. So, two more blue. Blue, blue. Then three purple, right? Or did you use a point yeah, for that? Yeah, three purple. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh my lord. What? <laughs> Jesus, what? With eight positive dice and three come up blank. <laughs> it's oh really, my word. It's that setback that really set it over the edge from being a wash to being a failure. That's perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have an idea for that failure with three advantages. <laughs> I didn't hear it, yeah. Right, okay. So, can I use that? I don't know how many advantages I'll need to, like, redo that roll with SSL's rolls. <laughs> but it's essentially, like, SSL is now under with foot-in-mouth syndrome, because these two are now, it's gone from, like, oh, this is cute, to this is awkward. Like, okay, these two are just so awkward now. <laughs> Norin's sitting here as the arrow ace being like, did I do that right? Did I handle that right? Do they hate me now? <laughs> and Issa on the other side as the pan pan going, oh my god, I messed it up. How did I mess it up? Oh no. <laughs> and both of them being awkward on different sides of that spectrum. <laughs> that is just perfect. Um, <laughs> just truly, truly perfect. Okay, I, I do want to go with all three. Okay. Uh, advantage, but yeah, that that's just perfect for all the good reasons. Someone burned one of those testy points for me because I'm gonna have to use that. Roger, right Dodger. Now. Roger, Roger. I'll go. The, so it'll be three yellow, and then the one boost that she's had for like her little tidy team. The three purple. Mm -hmm. Should I keep a setback or should? I... You know. Okay, with all the stuff that's gone on, that's changing from a setback to it uh, to an upgrade. So it's going to be uh, <laughs> one red, two purple. Oh, let's go. I'm going to do so three yellow, a blue, a red, two purple. Let's see what happens. I need to know. Woo! Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I think I know what the triumph might be. Okay, well, say what the roll is. Okay, so it is three successes, two threats, and a triumph. Perfect. Let's start with the threats first. Hmm. With the threats, jeez, oh, I'm not entirely. Hmm. You could you could burn out my strain of just being <laughs> that red face, where she's like. I mean, yeah, that that works. Uh, yeah, I can go with that. It's just. For two more strain. 
I'm down to 8 out of 13. I have burned so much strain so far. Ah, uh, awkward strain. I love it. <laughs> so three successes, I'm guessing it's, it's enough to get that last engine going. Yeah, yeah that we gets us to 11 successes. So all the, all seven of the engines are going now. Yeah. You're so the, flustered you pass out. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah. Um, so, idea for the Triumph. So, we know a lot of ships that the main hyperdrive has been taken, and their backup we had no idea, which might have been damaged. Um, what if the Triumph is in a moment of like, we're done here, we're done, let's keep moving? <laughs> if Eustacell like walks over to the next room and realizes the engine's still there, it's just damaged. Not the worst, we've dealt with the worst. The, 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 old, the backup. Okay, the backup. Yeah, the backup is. I can go with the backup is damaged. They have their hyperdrive. It's just a damaged one. Yeah, their their backup so hyperdrive is there. Give them ours. Because it is a different section of the engine room, uh, the entire engine area, and you go and you take a look. The main hyperdrive is like it's gone. You can see where they were not entirely kind to the ship in removing it. But there is the backup hyperdrive. Now, backup hyperdrives are actually relatively close to dealer-provided spare tires. Yeah. Uh, are like they <clears throat> are the get me to the nearest garage. What is it? I think it's like barely city speeds and don't use it for more than like twenty miles kind of thing on a little rubber donuts <laughs> where this backup it's try and use this to get to the next system that has parts and repair there because the also assumption is to set the hyperdrive this is being used when the other hyperdrive is like damaged not missing it may have never been fired in the last 10 years it's there. <clears throat> like it definitely will get the ship through hyperspace, but you don't want to be using it for all that long. You still like looking at it, realizing it's mostly there. It's like you know, if we fix it, we just need to get this ship to the next like, to the next planet that can re do full repairs. Yeah, and now we don't have to give them ours and have to take those repairs on ourselves. You still cracking her fingers. Okay. Like, we got this. We got this. <laughs> looking over at Norn, looking back at the engine. We got this. <laughs> Internally, I just made this worse. <laughs> <laughs> episode of Heroes of the Hydean Way. You can find show updates at linktree slash the Hydean Way, and you can find me, Ben, on all the socials at Deuterium Ice. You can find me, Joy, on the Other Place podcast, season two as Talana, and live on Twitch TV slash Drifly Me, number two, playing a variety of games. You can find me, Erica Goodwitch, on a multitude of FFG-based podcasts as detailed on my linktree slash Erica Goodwitch. Oh, you can find me, Zach, on uh, the Tales of the Interim podcast, and I guess GM a season of Tales in the Great Library. I was reading the text for some reason. I just got lost. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and you can find me, Henry, everywhere as at Sim Disorder with one Y and one I in that order. And we are all at thehydeanway.com, where you can find previous episodes and previous seasons. You can find more episodes on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, plus you can help us up by rating, reviewing, and subscribing. You can holocom us at heroes at com, and you can find merch at tpublic.com slash users slash way. If you like what we do and want to support the show, you can find us at patreon.com slash way. Or you can send a team some calf at ko-fi.com slash way. <laughs>
I promise not to shoot you. <laughs> I can't promise it won't be awkward. <laughs> I can uh, promise not to shoot you. I, I just won't use bullets. So we have <laughs> 10 XP? 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. Yep. Oh, that's right. That's what we Yeah, you get 10 15. from me and 5 from Each other. someone else. Yep. That was a fun episode. <laughs> All right. And, and that is where we shall end it for this episode. Well, okay. Uh, we've Bye. got the experience to do, which 10 for the night, or yeah, 10 for the night, and then 5 for y'all to give away. Oh, oh! I know who I'm giving my bonus to. <laughs> Norn for making it more awkward, and that just makes me happy. Aww. <laughs> I'm gonna give He's five for playing two. along with my for Henry playing along with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pride Month. Make it gay. Oh yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite ships is. Awkward pen and awkward arrow aces is great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving mine to Kedra because we always have the best interactions. Uh, oh my gosh. When we're trying to give each other like messages from other people. I I loved I loved Shin today. Your interrogation was great. Yeah, Shin's <laughs> glee over the whole like, oh there's an imperial. I, <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh, don't worry, Captain. I'll uh, take care of this. And it would have been, he probably would have been a little more mean had it, had the, the depending on how the, the interrogate, well, uh, questioning went. I mean. It's a sleep mode. That's how they snore. <laughs> come, come, come. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, I love that. Oh, God, that's we turned better. it into Pokemon now, I see. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they walk around and they say gonk. <laughs> yeah. They are Pokemon. If, the, if I could catch a gonk as a Pokemon, an electric, electric type, type Pokemon. metal electric type, absolutely. There's a real AU Star Wars X Pokemon. <laughs> oh, don't tempt me with that fan fiction. Done. <laughs> you won't do it. How dare We'll just put Star Wars characters in the Pokemon universe, but we'll make some custom Star Wars-esque Pokemon, too. Oh, yeah, let's guess.